Today we're going to make some pots out of air dry clay. This is great stuff because it means you don't have to bake it in a kiln or an oven. It will keep its shape forever. First thing we're going to do is cover our work surface with our white clean tablecloth. You should have received one of these in your first pack. Clay can be a little bit messy sometimes so we don't want to upset the grown ups by ruining their furniture. This week you're going to need your pack of clay and your modelling tools which came with this week's pack. You'll also need some things that you can find around the house that you can use to stamp patterns into your clay. So this pen lid, I've got this lip balm, I've got some lovely shiny buttons that have got really nice textures, some tape, but the bottom of this glue stick, that should make a good circle. You can use all kinds of things, even leaves from the garden. First I'm going to choose a colour to create the base of my pot. I think I'll go for this light blue. I'm going to take a piece of clay about the size of a plum. This is about one of the silver packets. Then I'm going to give it a good squish and a big squash and roll it into a ball. Now I'm placing the ball on the plastic tablecloth then I'm going to press down using the palm of my hand to flatten it into a circle. The circle needs to be roughly as thick as your little finger. You can go a bit smaller, maybe a thickness of half a centimetre. This circle is going to be the base of your pot. Next we need to make the side walls. I'm going to use this pinky peach coloured clay. Once I've taken the peachy clay out of the packet, I'm going to give it a good squash. Then I'm going to start rolling it into a fat sausage. Now I need to turn this into several sausage shapes. So I'm going to divide this big peach bit of clay into smaller sections. I'm using the moulding tools to cut it up evenly. I've gone for six sections which should make six sausages. I'm taking one of the six pieces of clay and rolling it between my hands to get a sausage shape. Then I'm placing the clay on the tablecloth so I can roll it out some more, squeezing it into a long sausage shape by spreading my fingers and applying even pressure as I go. I'm trying my hardest to keep the thickness of the coil even. When I think the coil is long enough, I'm picking it up to check the length against the base of the pot. Ooh, still a bit short, keep on rolling. Still a little bit short. Nearly there, but just a tiny bit more. That's it, we've got the right length. Now we're going to do the same with the other five pieces of clay. We want all of the pieces of clay to be the same length as that first coil. On your marks, get set, roll! Once you've rolled your smooth long coils, you can set them to one side. Then you'll need a container that you can shape your base on. You could use a yoghurt pot, you could use any little tub really. Place your clay base on the bottom of the pot and start shaping it to fit. You can use some of the tools to mould it down if you like. I'm now taking the clay off the bottom of the container. It looks like a little saucer. Next I'm going to use one of the moulding tools to make some scratch marks on the outer edge of the base. Making the rough edges is called scoring the clay. These rough edges will help the next coil stick to the base. Now I'm ready to start applying my coils to the base. Now you can use a brush or your fingers to apply some water to the score marks to help the coils stick more easily. 
I'm not going to use any water this time because my clay is quite sticky. I'm placing my first coil on top of the scored clay. Then I'm gently winding the coil around the outer edge of the base. Make sure you push the coil into the base firmly. This will help the two different pieces of clay stick together. If you like, you can blend the two pieces of clay using the moulding tools in your set. I'm popping the clay back onto the bottom of the container just so that I can mould around it. This makes it easier to keep the shape. Once you've done this first layer, it's time to add your second coil. Continue adding coils, attaching one to another. Remember to score and if you're using water, remember to add that between each coil. I've reached my last coil, so I'm applying this and then I'm going to put the container back in the pot so I can give it a final shaping. I'm using a moulding tool to blend the coils together on the inside of the pot. You can do this on the outside too if you want a smooth appearance. I quite like the coils so I'm going to leave mine looking bumpy. To finish off, I'm going to decorate the base of my pot with some stamps I'm going to use that pretty decorated button from earlier and also the lid of my felt tip pen. I'm taking these and pushing them gently into the base of the pot where they're going to leave an impression. If your pot looks a bit wonky, you can always put it back on the container and give it a final shaping. You can also use your moulding tools to smooth out any lumps and bumps. And there you go, there's your finished pot. All you need to do now is put it in a dry, warm place for 24 hours to harden. 